Hello there, Cancer. Welcome to your career and finance reading for March 2023. Let's see what's happening for you. We're starting off with what do you need to know about your career or business? Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. What a way to start. Nice. And then we have the moon and the world. I don't, you know, first thing I got was hidden fortune. Something's coming in for you that's going to be really good. Things turning. Endings, new beginnings. I like this a lot. Pisces energy with this, um, the moon. Something's hidden. Okay, let me, um, see what's on the bottom. Ooh, the nine of cups. Okay, this is going to be a good one. Your wishes and dreams are coming true. Look at that nine of cups. Celebration time. Look, it's changing. Things are shifting. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? We have the nine of swords. You might have been really... Worried about something, anxious, but things are about to change. Something's going to be revealed. Uh, tap into your intuition because it's very strong at this time. Okay, we have here the Five of Swords. Yeah, feels like someone might, this might be revealed. Someone that was trying to sabotage you or trying to cause conflict, gossip. I think it's all coming out. What about this? The world, endings, new beginnings, doing, starting a new cycle. Okay, you're going to have an offer come in here. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So it could be an earth sign offering you something here. Uh, it could be a job, a position. A, a... Okay, oh, it's one of a kind. It's a unicorn. I like that. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. Okay, yeah, this is to collaborate with someone. This could be an offer to collaborate on a on some kind of um, business deal, some kind of um, project. Or it could be just joining a team. Okay. We're working together. Now, what can you do to move forward? Okay. Someone is having a lot of regret, a lot of remorse over something here. Trying to decide if they should put some more time and effort into something. It's taking a second look. They want communication. So I feel like this is someone that feels regret remorse for what they did to you and they're trying to figure out how to fix this they want to talk to you you could probably expect some communication from this person oh yeah you make them happy sun card happiness um sunshine okay so now let's clarify the five of cups why the five of cups here Ooh, we have the ten of cups See, someone messed up with you. It could be in a business deal. Um, uh, maybe they lost you as an um, employee. Or it could even be loved to. And um, this would have been... This would have been a long-term commitment here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is um, finances. Someone feels like they, they um, lost out long-term commitment or uh, making lots of money with you. Because you're probably doing well here. You got these lucky cards coming up. Okay, what about the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, someone wants to offer you something here. They're trying to figure out how to do it. They want to offer you a golden opportunity. They want to offer you something that you cannot refuse. What about this Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Oh, they're resting on this. They want to heal something here with you because there's some kind of pain or heartache. Four of Swords is usually, they need to speak their truth to try to heal the Three of Swords, the pain that they caused. And Ten of Cups, they see this um, happiness, home life, um, family with you. That's what they want. Okay, so now, what can you do to move, to be more fi financially successful? What can you do? Okay, be patient. Patience is the key here. Sagittarius, Energy, Temperance. Ooh, we have the Nine of Cups coming out on the table now. And independent. Two Nines together. Wow. This is like, do your own thing. If you were to try to start, be patient. Take time with yourself. Don't rush it. But if you wanted to start your own business, would be the time. You'll do very well here. And we have here the Seven of Cups. You might have a lot of different options, too. Okay, so now, let's see. Why do we have Temperance here? Why is Temperance here? The moon, Pisces energy. Okay, 
something hidden, but your intuition is very strong. Just um, there's some kind of mystery, something hidden, something not being said. Um, something might be revealed here, though. But just be patient. What about the Nine of Cups? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Okay. Looks like there's going to be a love offer coming in or something that makes you very happy. Emotional fulfillment, whatever this is that's coming in there. It will be some kind of new opportunity. <clears throat> and we have here the Queen of Wands. I think someone sees you as a Queen of Wands. Very desirable. Trying to balance things out with you. We have the Two of Pentacles trying to make things work. Trying to make a decision here how to do this. Okay, now with the Queen of Wands, this is your energy. You're coming out as... You know, the go-getter, independent, a way-shower. And we have that right over the Nine of Pentacles, which is independent. And on top of that, to show off how good-looking you are, we have the peacock. Proud as a peacock. You're looking good. You're looking good physically, attractive, and also as far as your business, as far as what you do with work. You are shining bright here. Okay, so now, male or female, does not matter. Okay, now let's see. Where or what do you need to improve here? Let's see about that. A new beginning. Taking a leap of faith. Maybe taking more of a risk. Ah. Here we have the King of Swords speaking her truth. And we have the Queen of Cups. But you are standing above the rest. Look at that. Seven of Wands. Okay, so the King of Swords. King of Swords um, is... Swift but fair, high standard. This could also be something to do with a lawyer or a judge. If that makes sense for you. We have an angel. A, angel, a lawyer or a judge might help you in something here. You might need to go for some kind of advice. And they might be able to assist you. The angels will help them. Okay, now we have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is... um. Content in life, finding your purpose. Um, money isn't everything. This is like, if you do what you love, you will, you will get compensated. Here, look at the big heart here too. So yeah, follow your dreams. Follow what you like to do. You know, follow what you love. Okay, so why am I shuffling these? Wrong deck. <laughs> okay, now let's clarify the fool. Why is a fool here? Ooh. We have here Virgo energy. We have here the Hermit. So this is like, I really think that you're branching out on your own because of the Hermit, it goes out on its own. It seeks to find answers. That's what he's doing. He has a lantern. He's seeking to find answers, seeking to, to heal. Um, he could also be the teacher, the student, learning something, learning more about himself. Okay, what about this King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords here? See, someone has a lot of regret and remorse for something here. Crying over spilled cups here. Not seeing the two cups that are available. Okay, this, um, someone might be crying over losing you. Okay, why do we have this Queen of Cups? There's going to be a celebration here. This also could be networking. Three of Cups could um, be business networking, a work celebration, and we have here... The Nine of Wands, being very protective of your assets, be very protective maybe of your information, or I'm also getting, be very protective of who you actually hang out with. Okay, so now, what or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? Okay, being stuck in your head. Overthinking, can't make up your mind about something. That's an obstacle. Because your Ten of Cups is there. You just have to, I almost feel like, let go of something here. You need to make a decision. And you're confused because you're not seeing all the answers. But you are definitely stuck in your head here. And that is keeping you trapped. Okay. And we have, you might have to walk away from something here. You might have to walk away from your Eight of Cups here. Something's not fulfilling you. So you might need to change. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have the... The eight of swords. Eight of swords is always we're mentally trapped in our own, you know, our own head because this person could definitely get out of there. Okay, they're not really trapped. They just think they are. So we have here 
wow look at this you definitely the obstacle you have to overcome is maybe your fear of leaving something you have two eight of cups you, you need to walk away from something something is not serving you time to move on okay what about the two of swords Three of Wands, waiting for the right time, waiting for it. Something's coming towards you. You might be waiting for something to come in. And that's been taking a while. What about the Ten of Cups? Yeah, there's somebody maybe trying to hide something for you, trying to deceive you. You need to walk away from that person. This is a thief, a liar, someone that you can't trust. It's shady dealings, criminal behavior, suspicious activities. Yeah, you need to leave that. And here, and stand in your truth, stand in your integrity. This is um, the Hierophant, this is Taurus energy. So this is what you need to do. To, you know, do the right thing. Values, integrity, financial advisor, vocational training. Whatever you need to do there to be on the right path. Okay, so now, what is coming in in the near future for you? We have the Emperor, Aries energy. Ooh, we have Leo with the sun. And we have, okay, someone from the past or something from the past. Past memories, something's returning. Ooh, we got the Three of Swords. Someone might be trying to return to heal something with you. Three of Swords, pain here. Okay, why is the Emperor here? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is definitely feels like your energy. So you are doing well financially stable. This is coming in for you. You're taking your power back. You're in your power. Making money here. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're growing your money. You're growing your finances. You're growing your business. Okay, and why do we have the sun here? The Empress. Okay, we have the Emperor and Empress. Now that changes things a little bit. If you, You're you either the Emperor or the Empress, and you guys are... Someone from the past here is coming back in, and this is going to make you really happy because this is your counterpart. This is a power couple. You might be coming together with someone that is... Um, you guys are very powerful together, that you can really conquer the world here. Um, the Empress is one of the most um, prosperous cards in the deck. A lot of abundance here. Creativity. Creating something new. Now, why do we have the Six of Cups here? Ooh, two of Cups. Yep, it's a soulmate connection. It's coming in for you. So, together you guys can make probably a lot of money. This is growth. This is past life connection, too, with the tree here. So, yeah, this is a very strong connection. Soulmate, past life. You've done this before. You've been together before. And then we have here the Six of Cups again. Yeah, absolutely soul life, um, past life connection. Because sometimes when we get this card, it's not someone coming back that you know that yet in this lifetime. You might just be meeting them for the first time now. But they'll feel very familiar to you because you have been with them before. So they're returning because this is the time now to be together. Okay, so now what or home is helping you? Two of Cups, this, this connection is helping you. Very strong connection. And they're going to offer you something here. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Income to offer. Maybe offer a help, offer a gift, maybe a job. Something's coming in. And we have here, well, that's a pretty heart. I don't think I've seen that one before. A very fancy little heart here. A lot of love here. Person's coming in with love. Okay, let me get a page of pentacles and one more. Magician, yes. Okay, so this is saying that you can manifest whatever you want here. You have all the tools you need. To me, the magician is Aries, Aquarius energy. You, you can manifest whatever you need. And walking away from what does not serve you. You're leaving behind with something that's not right. Okay, let's clarify. How many times did you get the Eight of Cups? You're definitely moving on. So, let's see. Now, why do we have the Two of Cups? Woof! The Lovers. This is a strong connection. 
Holy moly. A choice card. Decisions. But hey, I think this is the good. I think once this person shows up, you're both going to know it. Okay. Gemini energy. Let's see about this um page of pentacles. This is Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Your energy. This person's coming in. This shows that you have a lot of love. You're very nurturing, caring, and also very intuitive. A wreath. Ooh, you can have a victory here. Okay, let's see. Queen of Cups. And now, the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Six of Pentacles. Things are going to be balanced out between you two. This is a balanced connection. A even give and take. And we have, oh, the Wheel of Fortune too. Divine Timing, Destiny. I'm loving this reading for you guys. Wow. Get ready. Things are about to shift in your favor. Everything's going to fall into place for you. Okay, now your um, potential outcome. Let's see. The Queen of Wands. You're getting a lot of attention. You're standing out. And you also might be get, taking a vacation or resting, but you're healing from this Three of Swords that happened in the past. You're working on something here. And maybe Pisces under here. Get, gaining a whole new perspective, being patient with something. Let me see. We have this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is um, independent, a way shower, a go-getter. Very attractive. Very charming. Let's get a ch charm on this one. We have, oh, it's a starfish. You, you're a star. You're shining bright. Could also be something to do with the ocean, the sea. Also, I feel like someone's stuck on you when I see that. Okay, queen of wands. Okay, now let's clarify. Why do we have the queen of wands here? The sun. Happiness. Leo energy. Could be dealing with a Leo. But you're going to be very happy. The outcome is happiness. And you're healing here. You can take a vacation. Going on a holiday. And we have here the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a King of Pentacles. Or you could just be coming into a lot of money. Now we have a match for the Queen. I felt like you were the Queen. So I think the King of Pentacles is coming in here. And this is um, going to help you heal here. Also this King of Pentacles is a very good business person. Good finances we have here. An owl. Very wise. Wise with finances. King of Pentacles is um, very influential. A head honcho. A business owner. Someone that um, is very good at money. I think you're, this is your um, counterpart. Your emperor or empress. Whichever. Okay. What about this work card? Why is the work card here? Okay. This is um, harvest time. I think you're going to be hard. You put a lot of time and effort into. You might be really look, looking things over again. We do have the Justice card coming in. So there, Libra energy. Justice is coming in for you. The, everything that you put time and effort into is going to pay off. And this is harvest time. This this card you can look at as either harvest or taking a second look. And I feel like it's harvest because this is a work card underneath, and we're not going backwards. We're not going from eight to seven. So we're going to say it's time to harvest. Reap your rewards that you put out there. You're going to get paid back. Everything's going to be coming in for you. Okay, let me start over this time. Let's get something on the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles here. We have message. Denying. Excited. Okay, so you're going to get a message. Someone might be excited about something, but they might be denying something too. Hmm. we have on top we have the queen oh wait a minute i didn't put a, this a queen oh yeah that's right that that's for the queen of cups okay i was thinking i skipped one but i didn't okay so now the queen of cups that's the queen of cups that there's your energy male or female doesn't matter just the energy of the card we have mary intruder likely Ooh. So someone wants to marry you. Maybe someone wants to try to intrude on this. Or if you are married, maybe someone's trying to intrude. Well, you'll know if it works for you. 
Okay, what about the Page of Pentacles? Let's see, here we have a phone call. Okay, a caring phone call. That's going to change something. Ooh, so expect someone to call you. And they might, because this is an offer coming in the Page of Pentacles, and this might change everything for you. Okay, let's go to the Queen of um, Swords here, right? No, Queen of Wands. Sorry, Queen of Wands. This is Mary TikTok. Okay, so this, someone feels like they're running out of time, TikTok, and expect someone wants to marry you. Okay? Now, what about this King of Swords? Forget. Keeps the money. Lover. Okay, so there's someone, maybe some lover, forget. Or someone someone either tells you to keep the money or someone tries to keep the money. Let me get a clarifier on this money one. We have, oh, what is this? Okay, I think, is this a jewelry store? Hang on. Oh, yeah, this is a jewelry store. So maybe someone's buying someone jewelry and they're telling them to keep it or someone gave someone gave their lover jewelry and they're down to tell them to keep it or some or the someone else kept it whatever that works for you what about this queen of cups sexual closure love okay so there's going to be some kind of sexual love and closure okay what about Or closure to some sexual love. What about this Queen of Wands? We have a tower. Okay, there's some kind of surprise coming in. Aries Scorpio with the tower. Some kind of change. Oh, to reunite. Very soon. Okay, very soon. Someone's going to surprise you and come in. They want to reunite. What about this King of Pentacles? Freedom. I'm going to do it this way so that you can read them. Okay, so we have freedom, sincere, friends, family. Okay, so maybe someone's helping you give you freedom. It might be either from severe friends or severe family because you could actually, you know, it could be either or. Maybe some of you is friends and some of you is family. Let me just do it this way. So we can read these. That makes more sense. Okay. Now, I just got one more to do. Yeah. So this Queen of Pentacles. Let's scoop on the Queen of Pentacles. Hidden. Separate. Committed. Okay, so someone might might have hide it. They were committed someplace else, or maybe they couldn't even been still committed to you, even th and they hid that, even though you guys were separated. Um, if it makes sense, you guys look at the words, make them work for you. Okay, so now, some room here. Let me see. What signs we could be dealing with? What are the, what are the signs here? I'm trying to make it look a little neater. <laughs> what are the signs? Gemini, Cancer. There you go. Sagittarius. Leo, Scorpio, and Virgo. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts. Past, present, and future. We have Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Virgo. Okay, then now we'll do the letters. We'll do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initial, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have P, J, 
N I N K I Y E V E we got Eve there okay so letters we have for you today are P J N I N K I Y E V E okay so now let's see what names want to come up for you what are the names for cancer what are the names oops one more time out Tickle. We have Maury, M O U R Y, um, Stella. <coughs> oh boy, Jessalyn, J E S C Y L I N. Hardeep, H A R D I P. Yoko, Y O K O. Um, Kashela, K A S H A Y L A. Marie. <coughs> and I have to take a sip of water. I get dry cough now. Raul, R A H U L. So we have six. I need five more. <coughs> I don't know. If well, here's one under here. This doesn't feel like someone wants to talk to you, Cough. I don't know what it is. I have Mila, M-I-L-A. Might just be from the heat drying, drying me out a little bit from talking so much. Okay. Because I, I get a different feeling when I feel like someone anxious to talk. You know, I think someone does want to talk to you. I just feel like this is not that. So we have nine. Okay, I need two more. We have Katina, K-A-T-I-N-A. -A. Let me grab one more from the bottom. And now this one is Don, D-O-N. <clears throat> okay, so there you go. There's 11. All right, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. You can always check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. That might resonate with you more at this time. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.